Hello, I'm Nimimi Strobel, and welcome to another episode of FTB Interactions. And it's been a while, uh, I couldn't be able to record because of some personal issues, but now I'm back and planning to do what we set out to do previously. And I did prepare a few things. So let's see, where is my battle bag? That I'm going to call this the battle bag. Um, I'm going to bring all this. And of course my bow. Well, 400 should be enough. Durability wise. And the sword. Last time, and I think the time before that we worked on our mob, um, deep mob learning. And I've got all of these now in uh, advanced or superior. And this one, the creeper, is even self-aware. And still only using 80 or a tick, keeping my blood magic altar nice and full. We have 25,000 LP in our system, as well as nearly 600 buckets that we can use to make uh, the unstable mana. This is just sitting here, it's nothing automated. It's only hooked up to LP for whenever I need it. Uh, but one thing that you get from those pristine matters, you can you can make the zombie hearts from pristine zombie matter, and from you can make you know catalyzing gland from pristine creeper matter, and then you get these charms. Now a zombie charm takes six zombie fragments, which is only hearts, and but it's really simple to make, and zombies can't see you with this. And as you can see, I have a creeper, zombie, the ghast. I did, didn't yet get my ghast deep mob learning done, but I did get the ghast charm from my creeper. Because the ghast charm fragments also use ghast tears and catalyzing glands and ghast tears you can get from catalyzing glands. So. Zombie pigment, wither skeleton blaze, magma cube, skeleton charm, and spider charm. Now you can see my zombie charm has two durability less. Because I killed two zombies while I was wearing it. So they can't see you. But if you kill them, you lose durability on the charm. You remember that when we got the polyethylene block, I made the scanner module. And I'm going to use that. I'm going to shift right click a chest. And then we're going to insert it into the scanner. Instead of the rare ores, I'm going to put in the block scanner. So now, if I scan around me, it will show all chests in a range of 64 blocks because of the two extensions. This is going to help me find the dungeon and other chests inside the dungeons. What else? Air sigil. We don't need time in the bottle, but I'm going to keep it on me. And oh yes, I want my data model cast and which we should be pretty safe here considering my charms considering I should bring this on my hotbar and oh, let's start right now but we're probably not gonna find much nope. and Oh, that's another fortress here. I didn't know. So what do we find here if we look with the scanner? Where's the same fortress? Did I place these candles? I don't think I placed these candles. See the blaze? Doesn't see me! I don't mind at all. Um, but if somebody's been here... Ah, that's bad because it may make it quite hard to look for a dungeon. Of course, I'm not I'm not invulnerable to flames. I did check out the salamander eye. Which, but then I need frozen core, and I need to find a thermal elemental. 
which is like a blitz or a basalt or a blizz. Our network remains full, which is nice, and should be, because that area is chunk loaded. See, there are some chests over there. What is that? That looks like it could be the fortress. Uh, the dungeon. So, this looks to be a fortress with a dungeon. I'm just really not too happy about all the lava. Let's see where we're going. I think we want to get up there. Oh. So this is a bit of an annoying structure. Let's see if there's anything here. Besides blazes. Boot. I should maybe break those though. Just to, you know, to save other people from trying to, to loot it. I think somebody may have been here. We'll have a look and see what's in the chests. Yeah, nothing good. Spawner's still here. Don't like that. Okay, the blocks are safe to walk on at least. Oh, what was that? That was a fire bit. I wish I had some protection against them. And judging by those chests... I hate fire bits. Sheep disguise helmet. Oh, I did not see you. What are you? Crimson Guard. I did not like that. But yeah, this looks like it's been looted already. I don't know who you're shooting at. Not at me. Alright, out here here and on to the next one. See how hard it is to see them even. Thank you. I think I found another dungeon. A lot of chests in this area. Let's see. see. Right there, there's loads of chests. Yeah, that's a dungeon, that's not a fortress. I found fortresses a few times, but I need a dungeon. Let's see what's in the chest. Oh, nothing useful. No, someone's been here. I can check a few more. But, oh yeah, and there's also crystal torches there. Dang, 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 dang. Is that a blitz or a blizz? It's blinding me, which is not so fun. You're also something I haven't seen before. I don't like what it did to me. <laughs> what did you drop? Yeah, Blitz. This was the Blitz. That is one of the elementals I want for the um, Salamander I After flying around for a few hours, I found another fortress, and I haven't been in yet. Also, I don't see an entrance, so it may be that this is a new one. This is, uh, this is hard to break, by the way. Okay, how about this? Okay, that's easy enough. <gasps> Another stupid fire bit. I really hate the fire bits. 
Have I told you that I hate the fire bats? And you can't get a charm for those either. Is that a fire bat spawner? Might be. Might be. Okay, um. Not too worried about you. I think I will try and close you up for the lava. Hmm. Oh, please. Please tell me this is not explored. Uh, I think it has been. But it's not lit up. So, that's a bit weird. That is a bit weird. Let me put this on my hotbar in a different location. And have a look at a bit further into the dungeon. I don't see a lot of chests though. So maybe they actually people have been breaking them. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Nothing but raiding. I hate. I hate you. Go away. No, there's nothing here. Let's see, okay, so some stuff is in here. Crimson rites. Arcane lamp. Um, let's put some of this stuff. So maybe this wasn't looted, it's just really, really bad. Um, spawn? I don't know. Um, I'll go look around a bit more and see if I can find anything else but fire bits. Or witches. Which I also still need. Ah, I just put you in a the wall there. I do like my regeneration. I can t I have to say that. I I do. <laughs> I mean, it does take up a lot of inventory space, but I quite like it. That was the basalts, right? Yeah. Uh, obsidian walker. What might be nice? Is there a switch spawner somewhere? Oh. Hello, Mr. Crimson Knight. I will take you. Um, Crimson Rides, Black Horde Soul, Depth Strider. No, 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 no. I need a chicken. That's all I need, really. It's just a chicken. Not a jet camera. Oh, hello. And you. Everybody just leave me alone for a bit. Especially you. Uh, sky Dust Interdiction Torch. Those are quite nice. <gasps> was there a spawner here or something? So this wasn't, uh, this wasn't looted yet, but... 
I'm not getting a chicken so far. I get a distinct feeling that I've been all over this maze that is a dungeon. And all I wanted was a chicken. And all I got was this lousy t-shirt. I'll go home and grab some more arrows and find my way to another dungeon. Ah, oh, the switches didn't even count for my uh, for my deep mob learning. I still need four more and four more casts. I actually uh, went back to that back inside after cleaning my inventory and went through the dungeon again, this time scanning again and deleting or well, breaking every chest that I found to make sure that I had all of them. I did find some nice goodies though. I found a lava charm and I found a repair talisman and actually this repairs items in my inventory. Like it repaired my armor, although I did most of it myself before I left. Um, but like my torch launcher. If I launch a torch, you see durability and that durability is back. This is quite funny. So I'm gonna do that again here. I also found some other stuff that I'll show you back when we get home. Um, this looks like a good entrance, right? And there is a elemental and a knight already. And a fire bed. I, by the way, I created an elementium learning module. So hopefully I can level up here. Although I didn't count the witches. Yeah! I got my elemental leveled up. Oh, some nice goodies already. Don't run. That's, uh, that's rude, running. I should have a magnet. I don't have a magnet. Anyway, I'm gonna go through another energy except I'm gonna go through this um, this dungeon and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know if I find anything useful. I don't know what this is, but I don't like him. He's strong. Did I kill him? No, I didn't. He's incredibly strong. And he's breaking blocks. stuff here. I found that often they're hidden in inside walls. So this is the reward so far. Um, a lot of enchanted books protection. It's not too bad, not too good. Holding, oh holding four might be nice but I've got holding on my enchanted though, right? Uh, sh efficiency Temptation? I don't know. Um, basalt fruit. I kept the uh, Paul Fry's obsidian because there's actually no recipe to make that. I don't know if there's a use for it. Mm. We'll see. Translocators, those are pretty cool. Um, energy acceptors for an AE system. This is going to be gold coins, I'm pretty sure. I got a, a backpack that voids and you can have it out to pick up and you can you can configure which items it should collect and it will throw them away. Hmm. Oh, we got potions. Coins. So that's it so far. Uh, the machine blueprint for the infernal declomerator, which I'm not sure what it does. Oh, it needs infinity egg or for endstone processing, moon turf processing, netherrack into. Hmm. But it's the only place where you can get it, so we have it. Other interesting items? No, I'm not so sure. Portagon may be fun. Soulstone saves you from death while carrying. Um, I 
can throw these away. I've thrown away all the food and, and all the items that are really useless. Like an iron sword. I might hang on to the other ones. Rainbow cannon. That sounds fun. So, that's it so far, but uh, still not chicken. I'm not entirely sure if I am future Lind or if the previous sections were past Lind. I need to check with Krog how that works. Um, but it's been a week since that previous dungeon exploration. And last Monday, on February 1st, we did reset the nether. So we should have new fresh dungeons. Um, also, <laughs> I read one of those rice books that I got from the dungeons and maybe I shouldn't have done that because while I was AFKing in my base and actually I, I, was, I was actually away from my computer and when I came back I was being attacked by <laughs> by a uh, Thorncraft creature that apparently didn't get the memo about not spawning in the void world. But it wasn't that hard to kill. I, I've got pretty good armor and, and weapons so yeah. Also, I found another dungeon with a bunch of chests that I'm going to explore and see if there's anything here worth looting. I didn't find a chicken, but I found the egg. That's just as good. I should be able to place this chicken, but do I want to go and look for a second one so I can breed them? I can breed the smart chicken, right? Oh, I got the egg! I got the egg! Yay! Alright, um, I'll, I'll continue losing for a bit. See if there's anything else that's worth mentioning. And then I can finally go home and leave the dungeons behind. Egg, chicken. And let's breed you up to be 10-10-10. This is my current setup. Um, we have the chicken popping out that award into this cache and that is being sent to the compressor which is turning it into nether ward blocks and the compressor is getting its... where did all my trees go? Interesting glitch. Um, sorry I just lost all my trees and then the nether. It's getting its steam from the um, fluid transfer node which is wireless of course. So how do we progress next? Because now we have nether ward and we have nether ward blocks, which, you know, we can start light transmutate into soul sand. And then from soul sand, we can um, centrifuge to get oil. Not a lot, 10 soil cells for a bucket, but it's free and it's renewable and it can just run all the time. However, um, it's not so simple. And we probably won't finish it today. Although I still have to edit all the nether stuff, so I don't yet know um, how easy it's, or how much time I have left. There's a few things I need. I want to have an auto placer that can place the nether ward blocks. And then I can link that. I don't need a lens, but I can link that to my collector crystal to make soul scent. Then I want an auto breaker to break the soul scent. And there's a few things that we haven't done yet. We need a void crystal. MV machine casing is easy. Broken circuit, nothing special here. LV. Um, auto placer. MV pump. Tank. MV hull. Control C. We haven't done that. But it's fairly simple because we just need some night ore, some tallow, which is rotten flesh, some red powder, and some clay. This sound, by the way, is. Because of my um, experiments into Thumbcraft, I think. Um, see, because I did get the Sanity Checker from Thumbcraft as a quest reward, and you know, Sanity is not bad. Uh, this bar, I can't show you while I have my mouse, but this bar was completely full after I'd gotten attacked. Um, it doesn't tell me anything about, but yeah, you can you can see from the um, 
Oh, I've got unnatural hunger again. Let's see, because if I eat some rotten flesh, the unnatural hunger should go away. If you eat something else, uh, let's see, do I have an apple in here? I do have an apple in here. Let's try that out to show you what it does. So if you try to eat something else, it will tell you your hunger cannot be satisfied with normal food. Although I did notice that using this actually did fill me up. But now it says my hunger is beginning to fade. I've got two minutes of unnatural hunger left. One and a half minute. A minute. So after one more it should be completely gone. Yeah. And I mean I've got some sickness here but that'll pass. Anyway I needed this for um, for Tello. By the way, I wanted to show you this. I got two portal guns from the, the dungeons. This one is pink green. This one is slightly darker green pink. This one I used already. I'll show you how you use it. So I'm going to click, um, let's do this wall here. I'm going to click left, making a green portal. Then I'm going over to Thorncraft. I'm going to click right, making a red portal. And they connect. This is where the green portal is. This is my bright pink portal to the food area. And so now I can easily move between Thorncraft and my other base. And it's pretty cool. I have one of you for Tello. And it's one of these Eldritch Guardians, this is the one that tried to kill me last time. Now, luckily, I have a pretty good armor. And it repairs. Also, it's not that strong. So, is my sanity? Yeah, no, my sanity is not that bad actually. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to carry my bow with me. I came here for looking for a red dye. One of these should do. So, color and a dieter and clay makes a seal. Um, I haven't done anything with golems for a long time. That was quite fun. I need the empty All right, so that will give us our auto placer, which is easy enough. So insert blue on the placer and extract blue with a redstone signal, which it won't have by default. But, so this is making the nether ward blocks. And there you have it. This one says redstone is the activation, yes. So it places the um, nether ward, then we link the crystal. I might turn this around. Again. Oh, of course. <laughs> I should give you the rest of the signal because you're going to fill up with ward blocks, of course. So this one always is um, either the activation, and if you right click with a redstone pulse, a redstone torch, you can switch to pulse. But it's either one of the two. In this case, I'm going to deactivate when this lever is on, which it is now. So this is always going to be pulling and inserting here. You don't want to be standing behind this, by the way, but that's it. That's fine. We got 1600 nether ward. We have, well, room for 10 stacks of nether ward blocks, which is fine for now. This is going to run for a while until we can automate the breaking. But at least we should have automated placement and automated conversion after a while, which is good. Now the next step is a lot trickier. If you know actual additions, you've made void blocks with the atomic reconstructor, uh, I think it's called. I don't know, even know if it's in the pack. No, it's not. But 
In this case, we have to make black crystal shards and combine them to become void crystals. And black crystal shards are grown in a phytogenic insulator from coal dust and tiny pile of gallium. This is not that hard, so we just need to now make a phytogenic insulator, which requires reinforced alloy and MV machine hall. We've done that structural class. I think we've already done that, right? Yes. Um, double compressor, not a problem, right? In the compressor. But reinforced alloy, we haven't done that yet. We need an MV assembler with some diamond dust and a rich alloy. So that's why the MV assembler is here. And actually, there's other things that I would like to have to reinforce for. Um, but So let's make the advanced assembly machine. Um, sorry, this is the HV. Let's not overdo it. Uh, MV advanced assembly machine, right? Because that's what we use here. MV advanced assembly machine. How much do we have? Because for the circuits, I want to use the good electronic circuits, that's right. We're missing two small aluminium gears. Why are you saying? Ah, the set lights are not set. That is why. Hammer, I'm sure that's a hammer. Okay, here's a bit of a bug. Sometimes, oh, this is working. Sometimes this list just goes on and on and on and on. And I think it's what it's doing here for the satellite ID. Yeah, luckily the hammer is close by, but you see it thinks it's got tons and tons of cutting, which it doesn't. I don't select. All right. That was the problem. So now we can request everything from the system. Uh, let's see, advanced assembly a machine. And it's a quest, I think, or yeah. Let's see, uh, you go here and I'm gonna set you up. I expect that I can dismantle my basic assembler at some point. But for now, I'm going to call this H, uh, MV Assembler. Now, I need a crafting upgrade in here, a crafting buffer upgrade, and I need a module upgrade in here so that I can place my crafting with a fluid crafting module. So the default satellite is going to be MV Assembler. Which is it's still quite annoying that this, by the way. It's a known bug and server restart should fix that. But I can't do server restarts. And for fluid, uh, blocking modes off, sorry, this is not for fluid. Uh, blocking modes off. Now, I want reinforced alloy from enriched alloy and diamond dust with the effect. MV assembler fluid satellite pipe providing me rubber 144. Right? Right. So now I should be able to request one reinforced alloy. Let's see if that works. I have diamond dust, uh, by the way, quite a lot, so. Shouldn't be that hard to make either, though. Uh, where are you? Diamond dust. I had one of these in the pulverizer. Should work. Are you getting your items? You are. You've got rubber. What am I missing? It's not got power. It hasn't got power. Ah, minus two cable. And now I've got random mining fatigue. I can hear my heart beating again. I, I've used sanitizing so previously. I might try that again. Now, what I would really like is that shapeless 
8 1 time mana steal. It makes an 8 times mana steal. But no, you have to first make. Oh, sorry. You have to first make the 2 times and then the 4 times before you can make 8. So that's 3 crafts for 8 times, which is quite annoying. Now you got power. Now you can make... Oh, you're already making... But you're already so... Can I... Yeah, once it's okay. Twice it's okay. It's not that bad. It's not that slow now. And then... Ah yes, of course. You have to be item output to the back. Must forget that. What else do I need for the phytogenic insulator? We need double compressed dirt and structural glass. And I should have thought that a long time ago. So, and I, I made the double compressed. Now we'll need a spectral coil. Oh, we're waiting for the steel gears. And it needed what? It needs coal dust and tiny pile of gallium. I don't know how much it consumes of that, by the way. Um, I need nine. Well, actually, I should only need one of these, I think. And can I request nine coal dust? No. Um, coal or yeah, coal dust and tiny pile of gallium. You make I can make that in a crossing table. I can make that in a crossing table. So you can go there, and then you make call dust. Okay. First, though, we need the phytogenic insulator. I'm just gonna put you here for now. Give you power. Now let's see, one coal dust and one tiny pile of gallium dust. Do you need fluid? Oh, you need water. Ten buckets. I just need to know if this is the right way to go. I think it is. And you're running. And I need to know if you consume my gallium. I'm pretty sure you're going to consume my coal dust. Alright, so 8 and 8. And more water. 9 crystal shards. And I can just craft you together. Void crystal. Done. Done. Outer breaker. MV machine casing. I should have one. With a program 8. In assembly. Oh, I think that's a program 8 in here. Yes, it's there. So this should craft. Auto breaker. Wow, that's actually not as hard as I thought it would be. Uh, now the auto breaker is really, really cool. It doesn't take power and it will just break whatever is in front of him. Can also be uh, toggled with a redstone torch, uh, but it doesn't filter, so nothing's going to stop it right now from taking the um, taking the nether ward. How we're going to deal with this auto breaking only the soul sand and not the nether ward is something for the next episode. So cliffhanger there. Uh, let's have a quick look at our loot. All together, I'm not sure if the steel hammer or excavator are any good because I don't really have much digging to do. 
a lot of potions. The fairy, the faith plate basically sends you flying for a while uh, in a, in some direction. You can determine the angle and the power. We got some RF tools, gadgets, robot surgeon, celestial gateways, nice, and also more of the A2 stuff, arcana, an item collector, which is pretty cool. A lot of armor, which I, by the way, repaired using the repair talisman. Uh, more low level tiers, although efficiency four is not bad. Clockwork mind, if you want to make a nice golem. Another sanity checker. This can be deleted. The volcanic amulet to fire lava, <laughs> or as a lava bucket, which is. I mean, we don't really use lava anymore, do we? No. But maybe if it's infinite lava, I might use to make obsidian, which I can then mine. That might be nice. Uh, on pedestal, attempts to stop weather every four seconds. Well, we don't need. We've got the other rain stopper thing. And this one is on breaking three, but I don't care either with that. So yeah. That's basically it. Um, we did get a bunch of quests completed because of the because of the Nether run. I found some manganese. Okay, I found some dimensional shards. Thank you. What did we do here? Oh yeah, we got the item collector. Nice, 64 speed upgrades. Oh, there's more here. Space. What did we do in space? Oh, we found the uh, celestial gateway. Which gives us a second one. That's quite nice, if we, because if we do go out to space, I'm definitely going to set up a gateway here somewhere and uh, on my space station. Oh yeah, we made the uh, MV assembler. We're getting wafers that I need to look into. We got elementium. Uh, what else? We have oh yeah, portal gun. We get some cake, not sure what for. Another reward for the item collector. The translocators, those are by the way super fast. They're the fastest thing I know to transfer items between two inventories. And they're quite simple to set up basically. Um, oh, my inventory is full. What is this? Small, oh, small memory chest. Interesting. Let me clean up some of this junk. So, if I set up a chest there and I say translocator here and there, then this is going from there into there. And now it's going from there. And you can see this is already pretty fast. And see that everything in no, no time. But if I give it close zone, it's even faster. So these are pretty cool. Uh, I've only used some ones in. I break you. I've used some ones in chicken. No stone block two, I think it was. Uh, because there was a um, you needed like ten thousand blocks of iron or something like that. Um. Shoots blaze and gusts, fireballs, chemical constructs. Yeah, this is one of the books that I read, which maybe I shouldn't have done that. I can also check with um, but this this arcane curiosity. Let's see if it kills us. I just gained some knowledge. Can I do that again? So the rights, I'm pretty sure I can only do once. Okay. Another ancient curiosity. We're learning stuff. <laughs> Um, potions, potions, yeah, pirate head, don't need that. I might have a look at the Thalmium sword, or the black, oh, that's actually not so good, I think. Hmm. Compared to my current sword, I might try and enchant this. This is already enchanted and only still does seven half attack damage. Um, that's more or less item buffers like a chest. 
Um, yeah, that's more or less it that I can f see as useful or semi-useful items. So, yeah, that's it. And also, I think, yes, we did all the... Oh, there's one reward left. Oh, we got a master... Ah, oh, that's right, I got a master, master of art. You know, they probably put that in the blood magic thing. That's like a wireless blood magic transfer of, of items. I haven't used it, but I've seen it being used by others. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. I think this is a nice uh, length for an episode. And there's still a lot to do before we have oil. So let's keep that for the next episode. If you have any questions or feedback, just leave them in the comment section as usual. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.